Hello, my name is Jute Williams and I am the Zambia lead for Health Help International UK. I hope to give you a visual summary of our work which we have managed to do despite COVID for the disabled and vulnerable in the southern province of Zambia. Indeed, during COVID, your support has been outstanding and new needs have been met. Let me introduce you to the team in Monzi who deliver the work as Health Help Zambia. They are primarily funded by Health Help UK. There are eight members of staff, four of whom are disabled. The lovely lady in the centre of the screen is Carol, who makes everything happen and sends us monthly accounts and communicates directly with us in the UK. She has been recently supported by a new member of staff on the right of your screen called Brenda and she helps Carol with the administrative work each day. Health Help Zambia are making efforts to raise their own funds. The economy in Zambia has been very poor. They have been raising chickens, growing vegetables and buying maize when it is cheap post harvest and selling it on when there is more need. They have their own water supply in Monzi which has helped them in these projects. The water supply was funded by Health Help International UK a few years ago and it has made all the difference. In the past, Health Help Zambia used to receive containers from the UK loaded with wheelchairs and mobility aids. For the last three years, this has not been happening, but in its place, a free wheelchair repair service has evolved and Robbie, who is the Health Help Zambia carpet and handyman, is very proficient at repairing wheelchairs. We fund the materials for this. He also is able to improvise where needed to make neck braces for children with cerebral palsy. And <clears throat> he has recently been commissioned by another local charity, Holy Family, which is a physiotherapy centre, to make standing frames from paper mache so that children who cannot hold, stand correctly will do so with the standing frames. Robbie also visits many schools for disabled children and maintains their wheelchairs free of charge. Robbie is himself disabled, but he is a very proficient and helpful member of the Health Help Zambia staff. The two ladies you see in this slide are Alistair and Premelda. They are the Health Help Zambia seamstresses and they are very proficient in their work. They have also received the menstrual hygiene training so that they can go into schools and speak freely with the girls about their approaching menstrual cycles. There are many myths and very many fears and Alistair and Pramelda help the girls overcome these by providing them with free packs in which there are clean new pants as well as the recyclable menstrual hygiene pads. Alistair and Pramelda make these pads during holiday time and make up the packs and then visit the schools and they explain to the girls how to use the recyclable pads, how to wash them and how to take care of them, their bodies during their menstrual cycle. It also means that the girls feel confident in coming to school because they know they will be clean and protected. During COVID, the visits to schools have not been able to happen. And in that instead, Alistair and Pramelda have been mask making. And these masks have been distributed freely to those in need, the vulnerable and to families. And in all of 
and they have also started including their masks in their menstrual hygiene packs. So when they revisit the schools, now that the term has restarted, the girls will also receive the masks. When Alistair and Pramelda visit a school, they often will give out over a hundred packs. The schools are delighted with this free service and the girls maintain their attendance and this has good exam results for them, for the girls. All in all, it is a valuable service and recently it has been recognised by the Board of Health in Monzi and they are hoping that Alistair and Pramelda will start to talk to the mothers in hospitals um, post-birth as well, so that it becomes a wider service. For many years, Health Help International UK has been sending many through Health Help Zambia to be delivered, to be given to the local hospital, which is Monzi Mission Hospital. It, ha it was recognised that in the children's ward there is a need to supply nutritional food to supplement the diet, and often there is not enough many for all the children to receive a nutritional diet during their stay in hospital. The mothers who tend the children in hospital often do not have enough many to buy the necessary fruit and vegetables to supplement their basic diet of maize. With increased vitamins and nutrients, the children recover and heal more quickly and then they can go home. Each month HHI UK sends £70 to the hospital so that the nurses can buy the fruit and vegetables needed to aid the healing process. In February 2021 it was highlighted by HIFA Health Information for All, which is an online health group, that disabled children were suffering in Sub-Saharan Africa because of COVID. Often there were no earnings, the breadwinner might have died, there was no work, schools were not open, and the disabled children were suffering. In the light of this, we encouraged Health Help Zambia to look into this need and when they did, they were met with an overwhelming response. Very initially, they identified 50 disabled children who required immediate assistance. They food, vegetables, hand washing buckets and hand sanitizer were provided and funded by Health Help International UK. As soon as the project was launched, it was more, many more people came forward seeking help and the project had to be extended to, to up to, a, to help over a hundred children. Every month we send 1,400 pounds to help feed and sustain the hundred disabled children with hand sanitizer, food and vegetables. A record of all the children is maintained by Carol and each month they come and sign for their provisions. It has really made a huge difference. The project has been recognised locally and by media and has hit national television in Zambia that Health Help Zambia is providing this need through COVID. We hope to continue with this for as long as it's needed. The families are really appreciative and so are the schools. At the moment, we are not sure how far, how long we will be able to sustain this, but Health Help Zambia are working to, aiming to support some of the funding through, through their own income generation. 
As well as the recent project of supporting 100 disabled children, Health Help International has provided regular help for disabled clients over many years. Each month, money is sent to Health Help Zambia to buy milli meal, vegetables, cooking oil, soap, washing powder, or whatever is needed to support their living. Here on the left of the slide, you see Priscilla receiving her groceries from a gentleman called Mr. Gondway, who is the chair of Health Help Zambia trustees. He is always out and about doing his best and visiting the clients. Priscilla is unable to speak, hear or walk without mobile crutches. She has a little two-year-old boy, but no means to sustain herself or her little boy. Without Health Help Zambia, she would not be able to live. In the next picture, you'll see a mother who gave birth to triplets, one of which showed signs of disability. She has seven other children, but her husband is unable to make enough money to feed them all because his work is very menial and not very regular. Milk was desperately needed and supplied by HHI. Then the last two pictures are of Grace, who sadly became a W amputee. She received a wheelchair and monthly support and now HH said, are looking at ways in which Grace can access some training to learn a new skill so that she can income generate and gain more confidence. Bibian is a young lady who has been associated with HHZ for a very long time. She, has always, she had always suffered with a very bad lymphatic disease on her left leg since the age of seven. She has been struggling to walk. She never managed to go to school, but she saw very many specialists and nobody could help her with her disability and this swollen, painful, cracked leg. Many treatments were tried and none were successful. Eventually, recently, now at the age of 22, it was decided to amputate her left leg. And this was a successful amputation in that the disease hasn't spread to, uh, further up her limb or to her other leg. She underwent the operation and healing has taken place. And she has also now got an artificial leg prosthesis, which was supplied by Holy Family, the physiotherapy centre. Health Help Zambia paid for this and she is now getting used to her new limb. She would love to go back to school to re regain the years she has missed. And in the meantime, whilst we're waiting for schools to open, she has received workbooks and school books so that she can practice at home. The gentleman you see in the right hand picture is Pastor Fundy who is also a trustee of Health Help Zambia, and he delivered some of the workbooks to Bibian, who is looking forward to starting school, we hope, in October with her new limb. We hope this will be a new life for Bibian. She certainly deserves some success. Often this part of our work is overlooked, but during a normal year, pre-COVID, 22 disabled students are supported into various places of education. Some are boarders, some are day students, but fees are required for both. They are paid for by HHI. Once we start funding a child, we continue until they complete their school schooling. And indeed, some students have managed to gain college places, which we also have funded. And then they have managed to become employed. Four students, three blind and one deaf, have become teachers, and one other disabled student is now a clinical officer. It is hoped that the students listed here will all be back in school as of October 2021. Having given you a summary of our core routine work, it is now time to share with you some of our project work. 
One example is the work we have done and continue to do with Nanga Special School. It has 35 disabled boarding children of various ages, but they're all extremely friendly and caring. It was a delight, a delight to visit the school and spend time with them in 2019. One of the first improvements we made for Nanga School was the provision of flush toilet with ramps and hand washing facilities. These were very much needed for separate toilets for boys and girls. Prior to this, the toilets were an open pit latrine where the students had to crawl from their wheelchairs on their hands and knees to visit the toilets. These new toilets have been a real improvement and much needed help. One of the other improvements was to provide concrete pathways so that the children who do use wheelchairs and mobility aids can walk safely from the dormitories to the classroom, to the toilets during the night time, during the rainy season. And it also means that the children are safe because during the night time, walking through long grass, there are many snakes and snake bites are often a cause for amputation with children in Zambia. So the new pathways were a real must and have made it much easier for them to negotiate and for the blind children to find their way from around the school site. The Active Daily Living Project is a new project which has been started in the school with the aim to teach the students how to grow and harvest crops for themselves, to provide food for them during school time, or to sell to provide income. Mr. Buwepi, the head teacher, asked if Health Help Zambia could find two, fund two additional water tanks to facilitate irrigation. And it has been a success. The students are able to tend the crops after lessons and during the weekend. In the centre picture, you'll see the children learning to pick some of their beans. And the gentlemen there are some of the Health Help Zambia trustees. During past visits to Nanga School, it was noticed that there was no indoor dining facility. The students ate outside and the house mother cooked meals outside in a corrugated iron shed using wood from the surrounding bush. This is not ideal in the rainy season or in the extreme heat. HHI provided funds for a new build dining area which could also be used as a recreational area after school lessons and on the weekends because the children do not go home on the weekends and there's not much for them to do and nowhere for them to go other than the dormitory. So this building this was very much sought after by the head teacher. Again, you can see Mr. Gondway, the Health Help Zambia chairperson, checking out the building work and how it is progressing. Sturdy tables and benches were made by Robbie, the Health Help Zambia carpenter. They were made to fit the dining area and also facilitate the students who use wheelchairs. Robbie made the tables and chairs in the Monzi compound and then they were transported to Nanga School. In the right hand picture you can see Robbie admiring his tables in the new dining area. All the students were delighted with the new furniture. They did have a party and celebrations when the dining hall was first used before Covid. Coke and Fanta were their treats not the usual drink, but everybody was delighted with their new home. A new gas cooker was paid for and supplied by Health Help Zambia so that the house mother could prepare the meal indoors. Gas bottles have been provided 
but they are housed in a separate safe storage place adjacent to the dining room. Everybody was there to celebrate their first meal, including the Health Help Zambia trustees. During their many visits to Nanga School, the trustees of Health Help Zambia became aware that the head teacher, Mr. Buepi, did not have any proper accommodation. He would spend his nights during the week in a corner of the classroom, which was separated off with cardboard boxes. This was because there's never been any teacher's accommodation at the school for the head teacher. In Zambia, when a teacher is deployed to a post in a school, accommodation is provided, but this has not been the case with Nanga. And so it was decided that Health Help International would help to build a new home for the head teacher. This could only come about because of the supporters in Scotland for Health Help International who have raised the funds through many fundraising activities to build a new home for Mr. Buepi. As of August 2021, the house for the Nanga head teacher has completed its first stage. In the next few months, money will be sent from HHI UK to HHZ in order for the doors and windows, plumbing and electric and plastering to be finished. So that by the time we get to the rainy season in November, Mr. Buepi and his family will no longer be sleeping in a corner of the classroom. We would especially like to thank our Strathen supporters for the wonderful efforts they have made to make this happen, to build this home the first head teacher's home at Nanga School. Without them, this wouldn't be happening. To complete this presentation, we have managed to capture a few words from busy Mr Gondwe, who is the chair of Health Help Zambia, the board, board of trustees. 